Nicole. On behalf of us that we work here, man, uh, we're going to wish you all the best for the future. And it's been an absolute pleasure to work under your your leadership. You've done a top job here, mate. And don't you forget that you've done a top job. All the best, mate. Tom, just good luck in the future, whatever you're going to do. And for sure, Tom, I've known you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, matey. Tom, I just want to... Um Thank you for the uh, 10 years great service you've put in uh, with the, uh, the Trust and wish you all the well in your future endeavours. Good on you. Bye now. Hi Tom. Uh, I just want to say thanks for all the opportunities you've given me and all the help in furthering my career and all the inspiration you've given me. So thank you a lot. And thanks for doing the dishes for us when we need to do In my first week of working at the Trust, I came down and I saw Tom slaving over the dishes. And I thought, didn't they say that guy was the CEO? What's he doing <laughs> doing the dishes? Um, and I said, oh, don't worry, I'll take over, I can do that. And Tom said, um, no, nope, there's no room for ego at the Bendigo Trust. We're not big enough for ego. Um, and everyone has to do their part. So I think that speaks a lot to his character. And I often come down here and find him helping, helping me do the dishes, so I really appreciate that and every other little thing he does here. Thank you, Tom. It's a long time. It's been good to know you. Hope you uh, look after your drooly dog. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad that I turned the lights back on the night that I turned them out on you. Okay. Good luck. Have a good time. And um, make an effort to try and speak Australian occasionally. All the best. Lovely working with you and come back and see us sometime. Bye Tom. Lovely to know you. Good luck. Goodbye Tom. Enjoyed working under your guidance. I remember the first day you appeared here nobody knew who you were and I happened to be the fellow that took you on your first tour with your big overcoat on. No doubt you remember that one. Have a good one Tom. Nice knowing you. Hi Tom, I remember when you first started, I was the first one to serve you. Uh, I think you were just uh, checking the place out because you were just brand new and I, I sold you a ticket to go on the mine tour underground. And guess what folks, he actually paid for it with real money. But then again, he might have claimed it back later. I'd just like to say as an ordinary member of staff that uh, it's been fantastic having you um, as the captain of our ship, um, steering us through some quite turbulent waters over the past three years that I've been here, but it's been really good to know that we've had a steady, ha a steady uh, set of hands guiding us through. It's um, wonderful to work with the Trust and I certainly appreciate your work because it allows me uh, to come to work here at the tramways and the mine and enjoy my work. So thank you and best wishes for um, the next stage of your life and uh, a happy future. Tom, I just want to thank you for having faith in my business decisions and allowing retail to really fly and become what it has. And uh, we'll say nothing about Bendigo through time. <laughs> Hi, Tom. First time I met you, Tom, I didn't know who you were. You caught my tram from the mine down to the fountain and you jumped off where you weren't supposed to get off. And I pulled you up and you said, I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm really, really sad that Tom is leaving. I wish he wasn't leaving and I wish there was something we could do to get him to stay here. Uh, I always found it really endearing when Robert called and wanted to speak to Tommy. It was really sweet. And you've got to love a man who likes a um, upside down pineapple cake. <laughs> he was a good manager, a good CEO, good to the staff, good to me, and a nice bloke. So, don't go Tom, come back. <laughs> I'll get you a job as a tramp driver. <laughs> Tom, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you and the Bendigo Trust for that matter, and I hope you do really, really well in the future. No doubt you will. 
Thanks, mate. Tom was a good CEO. He was always around, and we just don't want him to go. So just don't go. Can you just, can you just change your mind? I mean, you don't have to go. Imagine life without the Benigo Trust. Just imagine life. Hi Tom, just wanted to say thanks for everything you've done for us over the years. It's been a pleasure working with you. Wish you, Robert and Frida, all the very best. Hi Tom, sorry that you're leaving us, but every best wish for your future and I hope your plans go the way you want them to. You're going to be Miss Tom. We've had a really good, good run, and I just want to thank you for not giving me a hard time when I give you those blank stares because you've said something that I absolutely do not understand what you're getting at. So that's happened a lot, and it's been fun. Um, yeah, so have have a good time in London. <laughs> G'day, Tom. All the very best to you and Rob in your exciting new life away from the Benigo Trust. His, his strongest point, I think, is his ability to laugh at lame, lame jokes in sign shows. So he'll be the first person to laugh. No one else will laugh in the audience, but he will laugh. <laughs> for sure. Guaranteed. Thanks, Tom. Hi, it's Tom. Uh, board papers. I need your board papers like five minutes ago. <laughs> When Tom would come to visit, we always had trouble finding a safety vest that would fit him. So, had to have his own in the cupboard. Special Tom size jacket. <laughs> Yay. I remember when I first got the job, I called back after five o'clock. Um, so Faye didn't answer the phone, but Tom answered. And I don't know, I thought he was just a after hours cleaner or something answering the phone and he said oh yeah yeah you're the Canadian girl yeah you did get the job and so I was a little bit unprofessional just jumping up and down and kind of doing little screams girly screams on the phone and I thought oh my god when I found out I was like oh I did that in front of the CEO but then later on a couple months later I, I saw how he reacted after a share concert and I was like nah, I'm good <laughs> Hey yeah, Tom, thanks for being an awesome CEO. Uh, I just wanted to personally thank you for sending me over to Samoa. Uh, it was the best experience of my life. Yeah, thanks Tom. We're only behind because he was away for two friggin' weeks. How are we supposed to get anything done with our super apprentice away? <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'll do all the work. <laughs> Hi Tom, sorry to hear that you are leaving us. You were a great asset to us and helped us out whenever we were in difficulty. You are a great diplomat and you have made sure that things continue on. May your future be filled with everything that you could possibly desire and much, much more. Tom, uh, sorry to see you going uh, after all the work you've done here and I uh, uh, hope everything is uh, pleasant for you in the future. So well done, mate and uh, we'll miss you here. Tom, i uh, just like to wish you all the best in whatever you take on in the future. We're certainly going to miss you around here. Thanks for all the uh, good work you've done, particularly all the uh, improvements we've been able to make here at the Bendigo Tramways, uh, thanks to your very good endeavours. So uh, all the best for the future, mate. Don't be a stranger. All the best for the future, Tom. It's been nice having you. Tom, I just want to wish you all the best on your new job and your future and all that. And, uh, yeah. All the best. G'day Tom, uh, here we are underneath uh, 957, uh, it's coming on pretty well now. Um, look, um, all the best for your future, um, it's been good knowing you when you've been here and um, hope everything goes smoothly for you. You take care, have a good one, see ya. Hey Tom, 
um, just like to say what a what a fantastic nine and a half years it's been, and uh, you're certainly leaving the uh, the Central Deborah Gold Mine in in a fantastic place. I mean, there's no doubt that a lot's been achieved un under your tenure here at the uh, the Bendigo Trust and at the gold mine itself. Um, I remember many years ago before you started here that everyone said that tours would never go below level three. It was in and a complete in, uh, impossibility that that would ever occur and now look at us. Uh, while you've been here we've managed to, to take our visitors all the way down to level 9 and I think that the, uh, that achievement can't be, can't be underestimated. Um, so yeah, fantastic. I'd also just like to say that it's been absolutely great working with you um, and you're going to, to be very much missed as part of the, uh, the Bendigo Trust uh, crew. Myself and the rest of my guys would like to, to wish you all the best for the future and I'm sure no, what, whatever it is you, that you, uh, you do Tom, I'm sure you'll do a brilliant job of it and whoever you work for will be extremely proud of your contribution to, uh, to their operations. So uh, cheers, all the best. Uh, Tom, I first met you when you came and saw the teacup tumble, it's not circus, it's science show. and. Um, uh, you actually wrote an email to Lisa after that uh, saying, you know, we were pretty much the best thing ever. And um, I'm not sure if you know this, but we actually used that quote in all of our promotional material. And I think it's still there. So I think we actually got some funding money out of that. So thanks for that. It um, made me pretty happy. And uh, But now, you know, feeling pretty sad because you're leaving. Um, but really happy that you're going to stay in touch and stay on the dab, so thanks Tom. We're standing here in the extension that was built uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, this extension was built really by the, the hard work by Tom and Lloyd, uh, that they got the funding from the feds in the state, uh, three and a half mil, uh, and that's allowed us to build a workshop that is now worthwhile and uh, is making good money. So Tom, I think this is one of the most a significant contribution that's been made to the Trust in many years. So, thanks mate. Um, you've created a great exhibit here, uh, built on what existed. It's been a ball working here. Uh, thanks for your input Tom, it's been working, good working with you. Well, I don't think if you're playing it that I could get enough swear words into it to make you really appreciate it. Tom, working with you has been a great experience and we've forged the kind of working relationship that I've never had at any other time in my career. So thanks very much for everything that you've been for me and for the Trust. Um, the exception to all of the edification that's going on tonight is all the problems that you caused me, especially your Tomisms. There were times that I didn't have a clue what you were talking about, so please excuse the blank expressions you sometimes got from me. Um, but I wished you would have learned proper English, but nevertheless, I have got a passable grasp on this second language, so I've prepared a little speech for you using some of the Tomisms. Methinks that once you cut and run and are on the hoof to hunt down your next assignment, you should be remember that there's more than one recipe to get the same cupcake. I hope you like the care package we scared up for you. Thanks for being our cheerleader. We've all drunk your Kool-Aid and got dragooned into your schemes. But fortunately, we didn't all row out so far to sea that we'd lost sight of land. Good luck rounding up the cats at your next assignment, and au revoir, don't be a stranger. What tea would you like? <laughs> Thanks, Tom! Happy travels! You've been a great CEO. We'll miss you. And your dog! <laughs> <laughs>